evening everybody, welcome to the UK Dominion Arena here in Batley. It is Friday night, we are days removed from the biggest show of the year, it's WrestleBration, it was this past weekend, if you didn't see it, you missed so... Oh god, really? I had this feeling that this was going to happen this evening, Sid Phoenix is not here, and they've sent me, they've sent me this replacement. Sent me. It's you, isn't it? It's you on the desk, yeah. Oh god, it's Leonie Rose, everybody. Hello, hello. So I don't get Sid Phoenix again. No, you've got me. I've got you instead, well. The only thing I'm going to say is at least you're not Chris Castle. No. What do you mean action, by that, sir? Because he's in action tonight. Right, if you're going to sit here all night, you're going to be nice to me, aren't you? It depends. Yeah, it depends. You have to be nice back. I'll always be nice to you. All right, yeah, I'll well, be nice I'll try. as well. I've got a job, I've got to go and uh, get a guest out though, is that all right? Yep, go for yeah. it. I'll hold down the fort here. Please do. Hello everyone, Brett is currently just getting in the ring to do his second job of the night, but you've got me, Leonie Rose, all night with Brett Ladley. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome at this part, he retained his UK Wrestling Heavyweight Championship at WrestleBration, he is the one, the only UK Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Jonathan Beckwith! out to be a good team. Let's see what Jonathan's got to say. Thank you, Brett. Thank you very well. So as Brett just said, I walked out of WrestleBration still World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. Oh. So UK Wrestling's always been about giving opportunities. And that's exactly what I want to do tonight. I want to give somebody a chance. A chance at an eliminator match. Meaning that if they can defeat me tonight, they'll get an opportunity at this. Oh, wow. So who is going to step up? Wow. It's, it's... lucky I'm not dressed. <laughs> Why would you step up? Well, we did on Monday, didn't we? Oh, hang on a minute. You know who that music belongs to? I do. The winner of the very first ever UK Wrestling World Cup. The winner of the World Cup. Happy Summer Sower. Oh, he had a hell of a night. I was about to say it was a really good match, even I could have been that. He opened WrestleBration and he defeated his partner, Momentum, in that amazing opening match at WrestleBration. I thought it'd be a lineup of people, you know, waiting at the entrance ramp, you know, waiting to accept chance, but clearly not. So, Jonathan Sedgwick, I want to step up. There you go. Uh, you know, I won the UKW first ever, first ever UKW World Cup final. And as of now, as of now, I've got nothing to show for it. But you're the World Cup Championship. And I want to step up. Jonathan Sedgwick, as of today, I accept the challenge. Yes! Yeah. Are we going to have this tonight, Leonie Rose? Is it going to be a thing? I'll see you tonight then, Mr. World Cup himself. Let's hear it for Hounds of the Swallow! I think it's going to be a thing. I think it is, yeah! Later tonight, UK Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Jonathan Sedgwick. I were nice about you then, don't pull faces. You had a really good match. You see and that? I'm nice. So and I'm you were nice, yeah, yeah. Excellent, so that's going to happen tonight. Big, big match. It'll be great. Absolutely so. And if he beats Jonathan Sedgwick, he gets a shot at the title. That's the, the stick. That's there. huge, that, isn't so it? So you, you'll see WrestleBration on Saturday, right? I did. Did you know we have new UK Wrestling Tag Team Champions? I did. It's all over social media. How could I not see it? <laughs> well, they're here. And you know what? They're going to defend those titles right now. Right now? Right now when Ooh. I get up and go in there. Okay, you go over Let's there. I'll it. hold down the fort. He 
Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest of Friday Night Showdown is a tag team match. Set for one for and it is for the UK Wrestling World Television Television Tag Team Championship. Hook, has got a lot on his mind. So like, we'll forgive him for that. These men in action. behind level up here because I'm such a professional I will stay impartial I think I did an amazing job holding down the fort I told them did about WrestleBration oh aren't you good I did everything Sid would be proud I hope so can you ring the bell I can can you oh. wait is there anything you can't do see I'm good on the mic I'm good in the ring you're I'm modest good at commentary. yeah modest mm -hmm. perfectly humble yes, you really can't wow that was so amazing we have <laughs> A rematch of sorts for WrestleMania as Uther and Damon Crow get their chance to get those titles back just six nights after losing them in that triple threat match. And what a triple threat it was. It was with the Breaking Bones studios in there as well. Brett Sedgwick with a drop kick. Yeah. Line. Down goes Damon Crow. Brett Sedgwick's not messing about. No, he's not. I mean, Case and Riley has been a very big influence on the life and career of oh, big cross body of Brett Sedgwick in the past few weeks. One count. Just one. Damon Crow and Uther were tag team champions for 161 days. Was that how long it was? Yes. <laughs> they really were. 
I knew it for a while, but I didn't know the, the intricacies. The teamwork there by Level Up. Yep. I'll say they have been becoming a cohesive unit in the past few weeks and couple of months. They have they've grown together, haven't they? They have. They've ascended literally to the next level. See oh, what so I did. Did. I did, I did, well done. And him and Crow trying to fight his way out, he didn't manage it. Big pet twist there. Uther was almost about to come in and save his partner there, but Crow got his shoulders up. And a boot up that time, and now Damon Crow to the second rope, springs off, but nobody home. He missed. And now have a look, drag him to the corner. And look at this, he's gonna, is he, he's picking him up his own partner, look. Wow, he body slammed Brett Sedgwick onto Damon Crow down for a cover, and oh. Wow, this match for the Tag Team Championships continues when Showdown continues in just a moment. We are back in this Friday Night Showdown live from West Yorkshire and it's Brett Hadley and Leonie Rose at the desk this evening. Hello, hello. I'm in a good mood tonight, Brett. Are you? I, I, I can imagine why you're in a good mood, to be fair, because you, you had a good night on Saturday, didn't you? I did. Did you know that's my first ever WrestleBration win? Well, it took you uh, a while, but you got there. I with, got there. With the help of... <clears throat> Johan Hunt and Chris Castle, but you got there. See, everyone blames me for that, but I don't know if you've watched it back. I was, like, knocked out. I'd got slammed onto a chair. You were getting the uh, tar beaten out of you by Sean Reed, basically. And then, but I came out a bit oh, tired. Well. Look at what's going on behind the referee's back. Uther is taking the advantage smart, here. Though. Smart. Yeah, it is, isn't it's it? It's illegal. No, but it's smart. Oh, as was that, by Damon Crow kicking Case and Riley back out of the ring here. Smart, deceptive, it's, it's, it's clever by the firing squad. I know you like to play on the good side, Brett, but you have to miss stuff like that is smart. It is smart. I don't like it, but it is smart. Now, Uther, we usually seem to do a drop kick from here. There he goes. Pew, pew. It doesn't look the leg, even though they've got Brett Sedgwick in the right corner. Yeah, they've cut the ring in half and they've got Brett firmly in their corner. They have, and it's bad news. Imagine if Level Up only had a six-day title reign. Everyone's hopes and dreams would be crushed, wouldn't it? Oh, and you'd be so sad about that, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd be so heartbroken, can you tell? Sarcasm detected, Miss Rose. Sarcasm detected. Listen, I'm fluent in two languages, what? English and sarcasm. I, I, I can completely agree with this. I've known you a while at this point. You yeah, have. Too long, but there we go. <laughs> oh, and oh, a kick by Damon Crow. Level up have isolated the high-flying live wire and taken all that high-flying away from him at this point. They have. Which, again, is smart because they're keeping him on the floor. Brett really needs to get himself away from there and try and get to his partner who's relatively fresh on the corner. Mm -hmm. Referee Ryan telling Uther is going to get Damon Crow back out of there. What is I mean, Uther doesn't say much, but he tries to spring off with a leg drop and there's nobody there. He found nothing but imagination. Brett Sedgwick with the head scissors. And Brett with a DDT Uther planted right on his on his cranium. This could be Brett's second win. He just needs to make it a few inches to his corner. It's quite crazy. a big ring we've got here, though. You know firsthand how, how far away from those corners and those ropes you can be. Yeah, from here it looks so close, but when you're in there, it feels <laughs> miles yeah, and miles. Yeah, exactly. I was in there a few minutes ago. It's massive when you're in there. But Brett Sedgwick this time does get the tag. Okay, some Riley and Damon Crow now the legal men. Those lines by Case and Riley. Ducks under, kicks him. Yeah, high knee lift. I know me and Case Oh, tell me more, Leonie Rose. It was summer nights. Yeah. I know me and Case have had our differences, but I've been in the ring with him a couple of times and he's a hard hitter. He is. Not a tag team champion for no reason. They didn't win those titles by any accident on Saturday. Go to the Case and Point. I like to think out. I made Case and Riley relevant. You, you did? What? From, from, from Ignite? From Ignite, yep. Taking all the credit, aren't you? Well, oh, they nearly lost the tag team titles there, though. Why would I not take the credit? Look how well they're all doing from Ignite now on Showdown and on Mayhem. Well. You're welcome, Brocco and Sid. <laughs> I'm sure they are listening at this point. Case and Riley ducks under the kick of Damon Crow, sends him into the corner. Riley. Oh, Uther got the tag, though. Riley's waiting for him. 
Suarez, the case in point. Big super kick. Down goes. Oh, it's Brett Cedric with a frog splash. Case and Riley is the legal man, and this thing is over. Not a six day title way. And still, how are you doing on this, Brett? The Royal Winners are still UK Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Case and Riley and Brett Sedgwick. and it didn't quite work out. Back to the lights for the final squad. Level up, looking for their next challenges. Now they have vanquished Usa and Flaming Damon Crow. Are they going to be long reigning tag team champions? Obviously the firing squad were previously. But now it's level up's time. It's a new era. They are atop the tag team mountain here in UKW. Big futures ahead for Case of Riley and Brett Sedgwick. Said, yeah, I'm going to fight Jonathan Sedgwick. Uh, I understand the cameras are caught up with Hamza downstairs okay. as he's getting ready for this match. Let's take you to that footage right now.
cheer for you like that, Leone. In my head they do. You can only dream of getting an ovation like that. You really can only get a, a, a dream. But Cayman's uh, dreams were shattered on Saturday because, you know, he didn't win and Hubris has got his job back and Carlisle has been furious ever since. He has. He's been unapproachable, he's been inconsolable. <laughs> And this match, we'll see how he handles it when this match with Cayman and Chris gets underway when Showdown comes back. Stay right there. We are back. It is Friday Night Showdown. Cayman Carlisle making Chris Castle think about it. Carlisle. Castle, as usual, letting his mouth do the talking. Carlisle making Castle wait. Castle's never going to get cheered, I'm sorry. Woo! You'll be the only him. one cheering for I him. I cheered him. Why is she not stood on the table? I'm so strong the table won't be able to hold her. There you go, see? That kid knows. That kid knows. It is Friday Night Showdown, the week after WrestleBration 14. It's the voice of UKW and the co-general manager of Monday Night Ignite. The other one, because the other one's in the ring. I mean, Castle can't call anybody else a big loser on Saturday. See, didn't he lose three times, Leone? Listen, we weren't allowed at ringside. It's not fair. But yet, in the your match and the other match with Johan, you guys were allowed at ringside. What a coincidence. Carlisle aggressively taking out his frustrations and he has got many from Saturday. Yeah! Oh my god. I don't even think it's just from Saturday. Yeah! Didn't he get Pent up. Yeah, like knocked out by Paul as well. Yeah, exactly. For, for he got weeks, knocked outside the bit. He got his head. Oh he got his head shoved into a wall. That's what happened to him. And maybe it's weeks of pent up aggression. Yeah! And unfortunately your mate Chris Castle might cop it all at this rate. Face first. Goes the hardest working man in UK. Do you hook the legacy could be over quickly? Don't count Chris out. I believe in Chris Castle. You and Johan might be the only ones who do, but. They're the only ones that matter. To him, I'm sure. Listen, I think you should treat me with more respect. I've saved the night tonight once again by being here on Coventry. Oh, oh, Castle. Oh! Cayman's head met the turnbuckle. And now Castle taking over here and now picks up Cayman Carlisle with a spine buster. Big spine this, would this be an upset? Leone, if you won, oh, two and a half. Maybe to me, not, not to you though, right? No, not to me. I'm going to say, you say an upset like it would be some shock if Chris Castle won, but I don't think that's a one. Well, time will tell. We'll watch it fold out, uh, uh, you know, fold out together here. 
wrestle. He does know his way around the ring. I mean, I hate to give the guy too much credit, but he does. He does. He's firmly in control. He's not got as much experience as Cayman Carlisle, though. Both of them didn't have good nights on Saturday, as to be said. Though Castle said to me, yeah, Brett, we didn't, you know, I didn't win my, uh, my battles, but the, the Empire were winning the war at the end of the night. This is it, this is true. It's like, you won and Johan won. We did. Whether I liked it or not. Now, this Castle with a boot. You can't blame me for any of that. In Johan's match, I didn't get involved because I was too busy concentrating on my match. He sent me back. He when did, we first came start, out and I yeah. stayed back. And then with my match with Shauna, again, I was knocked out. So yeah, I you, can't be you, you threw Shauna into me at one point. Thanks for that. No, no, no. I cleverly moved out of the way. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, you were in the way when I kicked her, so maybe it's your fault. <laughs> what, I was sitting here and doing my job? Yeah. Thanks, Pat. It was false count anyway, so... It was, but in the end, the, the uh, pinfall that you got... See, I'm giving you credit. I'm sure no it happened in the ring. Cayman Carlisle fighting his way out here. Cayman aggressively kicking away at Chris Castle off the ropes. Now at Castle collides with Carlisle. Stop Carlisle in his tracks. Maybe Carlisle is like not focused here. Maybe he I is. I wonder why. Because he didn't get what he wanted on Saturday, unfortunately. <laughs> Castle with the hook of the leg. When he gets two, he's going to do it again. again. Only gets one the second time. The third time wasn't the charm. And Ken Carlisle has been rocked here by Castle. See what I did there. Okay. I think it's just such a common thing, right? Don't put your day job, you don't have Castle still in control of the collective here. Big shoulder tackles right into the midsection of Carlisle in the corner. I've just got to get him out of there. Snap there by Chris. Right to the back, yeah. Ow. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to agree with him, but I agree with him. That has got to hurt. And we've seen Castle do this before. He's well versed in using the knees. On the back as well, targeting that back. Carlisle. And Castle is just aggressive. And maybe he figures this has got to be the way. This is, you know, he's got no titles now and he's going to figure out a way to... Uh, is the man with nothing to lose so is it yeah, Exactly, and there's Carlisle. nothing more dangerous, right? Exactly. It's up Cayman Carlisle for a body slam at Carlisle out the back door. Turns him around. And Carlisle mounts some sort of comeback here. Oh, he's got caught! Mmm. In mid-air by Castle. That sidewalk slam gets two and a half. Oh. You picked up the bell hammer then. That was close. I told you I believe in Chris Castle. You do. I mean, at the start, I, I, I have to admit, I wasn't sure. I didn't think Chris really stood much of a chance, but as this match has gone on, oh no. Here we go, it's for the bouncy castle. How many more times is he going to go over? Is he going to hit this? Is he going to hit it? Out of the park. Oh, oh. he hits it. Oh, surely not. Kevin One, Carlisle's not going to fall. No, oh no. That was close. That was close. Maybe too close for my comfort zone. Castle. In control here. Oh, you hear him then. And this time he stays down just like he did at WrestleBration. Oh, he tried it again. And he went to the well once too often. Nobody there this time for Castle. Come on, Chris. He met nothing but canvas. And now Carlisle with a vicious clothesline. We said Carlisle had got a lot of aggression in him. Looks under Castle this time. Chris is the one going for a ride. Carlisle looks to have turned the tide here a little bit. And now Carlisle's going to show him how it's done with some elevation. Is it enough? Nope. Again, giving him some credit. Castle is showing some resiliency he is, here. He is. Come on, Chris. Not down and out. One person cheering crew is sat at the desk with me. 
Probably the only Chris Castle fan in the building, apart from Chris. Maybe the twist of hate is coming his way. Oh, no. Oh, maybe it's not. Castle, don't saw the Castle Rock! Oh, oh. my God! Oh, no, that's, that's it. One, oh. Two. Oh, no! Two and a half. Just, oh, the referee's hand was very close. You can't well, believe it. I, can't, I thought that was it. No, Leone did think that was it. Castle thought that was it. Carlisle, though, kicked out right at the last moment. See, when things like this happen, then you get in your own head, you wonder, what have I got to do? Come on, Chris. What does he have to do? He hit his best shot there, Leone. He hit the Castle Rock. And it wasn't enough. It wasn't. I thought, oh, I thought that was it. That's one in matches in the past. Is it going to be enough to keep Carlisle down? He's waiting for him to get up. Kim Carlisle, has spaghetti legs. He might not like the view, and he turns. Oh, you played him in. Oh. Carlisle might have knocked Castle out with that boot. And now, Cayman Carlisle is looking for hyperdrive. And Chris Castle Without has had Chris. his light. No, that's it. Oh. I'll give him this. It was a valiant effort. It was, it was. I thought he had it a couple of times. He could well have done, but tonight belongs to the collective. Here is your winner, the collective, Cayman Carlisle! Carlisle pulls out another victory, some sort of uh, so maybe redemption. Yeah, from Saturday, he didn't get what he wanted then, but tonight the aggressive side of Cayman Carlisle was taken out on Chris Castle. Just to give it a good go, I will give him credit. And Cayman there. That was a bit patronising, Matt. Patting him on the back, what do you mean? Yeah, it was patronising. That wasn't patronising. It was a good effort by Castle, but the experience and the aggression of Cayman Carlisle shot through tonight. Collecting on the rebound. And Paul Hubris on his way back to UKW at some point. I wonder if that's in Cayman's head. Maybe he was sending a message. I think he was. I think he's willing to put the past behind him and focus. Cayman Carlisle with a victory here on Friday Night Showdown. The value Chris Castle. He doesn't have the greatest of weeks, let's be honest. And I'm sure he'll have a meeting with you and Johan Hunt and he'll regroup. We will, we will, we'll come back stronger than ever. I believe in Chris though. Castle. He's really frustrated. He is. He's bereft even. And I'm not saying I gave him credit. You know, it was a no. That, it was a valiant effort. It wasn't unfair, but it was a valiant effort, Chris. Do you see how he taps your head as well, patronising at the end? So uh, Castle's not happy. We'll be back with the winner of this this year's UKW Dream Ticket. We'll be back with Ian Creed after the break. Stay right there. Back as we've just seen there, Ian Creed thanking, thanking Red Rocker for putting him in that dream ticket match. Your next contest on Showdown is a singles match, set ball one ball. Oh. Introducing first. Personally, I'm glad I don't have to deal with this guy on Ignite. Go home now. That was disgusting. But he did win the dream. 
Union Creed's opponent. I just pointed it out for them though, because I'm an amazing commentator. What was that then? Wait, I've got, I've got a job to do. Okay. Smashed it. He said as it came out that drink ticket should be mine. He said to Ian Creed, you were lucky, I deserved it, I was this close. Did you not touch tips with Ian Creed? I did not. I didn't think you did. I told them, before I even came out, I said if he comes out and looks at me, I'm, I'm quitting, so you're doing commentary by yourself now because he looked at me. Well, I'm not actually here now, I ran away. Oh, is that it? Yeah. He came back, thanks for coming back. Ian Creed, though. <laughs> Playing mind games. You ever wrestled Ian Creed? I haven't. No, I don't think you had. I had to think then. <laughs> it's hard being such a professional, doing match after match every single week. If you say so. And now Sketch playing mind games with Creed. Not sure you want to do that, really. Oh, no. Sketch doing everything he can to avoid. I mean, do you blame him? Um, anyway, no. To be fair, no, I don't. I was, I was just saying as well, Sketch is an absolutely stellar young man with a bright future. Do you think? Yeah. I mean, he got on Sid Phoenix's back for weeks about the fact that he wasn't the first one picked in the draft and he hasn't been given opportunities. And I mean, that sounds like a Sid problem because I never had any issues with Sketch on a guy. He's done a lot of shouting at Sid Phoenix's Sketch. Sid should be better at his job then. And now Sketch is in the clutches of Ian Creed on the shoulders. Doesn't want to get dropped. Oh, we're going to the eyes. Getting an advantage is Sketch. Smart young man. He is doing everything you can to get an advantage. It's smart. You have to do that with Ian Creed, to be fair. If you don't, Ian Creed hits that acid knee, it's all over. I'm sorry. I haven't had a match with Ian Creed, but I have been hit with that. Have you? It was a while ago. Oh, no. Look at Sketch with those back kicks. Ian Creed is the definition of unorthodox. If you open it, it's the definition of creep. No, he's not creep. Yes, he is. No, he's got it crossed out. He's not a creep. Right, crossing something out doesn't mean that it's not true. What's in the bag? I don't Do you I, know? I was going to ask you that. I've actually. got no idea. I, mean, I, I asked him earlier on and he just went, nobody gets to know, right? So that I don't was know. a really good impression. I thought, Thanks, I yeah. thought Ian Creed was on commentary with yeah, me. Like, nobody gets to know. So I don't, you, I don't know. Why don't you sneak down and get it? We can have a look. No, 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 I'd rather not. Okay. I'm quite happy where I am, thank you very much. And look at this. Creed is impervious to the shots of Sketch. And now he's got him on his shoulders. If he does what I think he's going to do, Sketch isn't going to like him. Right over his knee. Ow. Poor Sketch's head. I hope his hair's all right. I hope his hair's all right. Don't you think he's got really good hair? No, I think he needs a haircut. But thanks for asking. Really I think you need a haircut. Me? I've not got much hair anyway. I had my haircut before WrestleBration, thanks. In Creed fires back in. Maybe one step ahead of Sketch, but I suppose spoke too soon. They're going at it here on Showdown. Clothesline for clothesline in the corner. Who's going to run out of steam first? Oh, Creed moves out the way. Just one step ahead. Mm, experience on the side of Ian Creed. Big suplex. Now both men after that exchange. There is a bit of a, a height difference between them, but Sketch is keeping up. You've got to give him credit. He is, he is keeping up. I will give him credit. And, and he has better Look at his hair flick. <laughs> it's not about the hair. It's always about the hair. Do you like my hair? I've made it wavy just for you. Oh, aren't you kind? 
Oh. So you knew you were going to be at the desk tonight. I had no idea it was going to be you. I'm the general manager there. I know everything that goes on. Uh, exactly this. Now, sketches back up on the shoulders. And this is awkward if you're sketch because you're caught right where you don't want to be. No, no. You know what's coming next, Leone? I hope Sketch knows. Can you? Is that Sketch say don't you dare? I think it might be. But Creed's going to do it, I'll tell you. Oh, no. I don't no. think I can look. I, 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 this sketch makes me uncomfortable. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At this point, Leone Rose is glad she never had a match with Ian Creed. Is Creed, is Creed hungry? Yeah, I hope not. I hope I had a big breakfast that wasn't earwax. Oh, no. Oh, really? It's unsavoury, but it's... Look at Sketch, he's horrified. Now he's going to try and make Sketch eat it, but Sketch out of the way, and the clothesline. Sketch not letting Creed get away with what he's just done. And now Sketch with a big DDT. Is that it? Is this going to be an upset here? We only know it's all... Two and a half. That was clear. It was. And now he says he's going to put the creep to sleep. Is that what he said? Oh, that, what, that rhymes with that. What a little Yeah, he's like that dragon is. sleep when he rolls through the creep. Comes Oh, he got him. There it is. Sketches out. This thing is over. The referee could count to more than three, but that's what he's going to do. That is it. That knee, I tell you. Spelt do for sketch. Wait, can you stay here when you announce things because he's gonna come back next oh, I'll stay here. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Here is your winner, Ian Green. So Green has that dream ticket that he can cash in on any champion at any point within a year. And he may well spell. Right, you stay there, Brett. I know we've had us different. I'll stay here, don't worry, happen. I'm not going anywhere yet. Yeah, it's fine. See how to look, 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 right. This is what you do, you touch the tips like that, yeah? The only backing off Ian Creed. Fresh from winning the dream ticket for the victory. The question is, when is he gonna cash that in? It's one of those we'll have to wait and see. Cash that in at any point against any champion. Valiant effort from Sketch. It was, yeah. Valiant. But I'll tell you, that ass, that ass in me and that was it. this past weekend uh, on that show Leonie Rose the women's champion Kirsty Love somebody you know very well I do know her very well defended her title it was sort of an open challenge she had Nisa and she had the returning Hannah Taylor she did I faced every single woman in that match have you? Mm -hmm. have you beat them all? you've got to think about this for, for mm. my ego's sake let's just say yeah yeah yeah, I, I, well, I've beaten Nisa, I've beaten Kirsty Love. I do think Hannah Taylor got the one upon me, I'm not going to lie, to be but fair. But Kirsty Love's still the women's champion. She and is. I understand we're going to find out who her next challenger is going to be. Spoiler alert, it's me. Oh, wait, is it not me? Uh, Restoration Aftermath. You're oh. going to find out soon. Okay. I know the answer to this question. It should be me, but. It should always be you, right? I put the work in. You, you are the women's division, bar, 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 bar. You say I complain, but you can't deny it. You do put the work in. And you, uh, you've got a fan in the crowd, by the way. Who said that? I don't know. Do you know what? I'm a professional. I'm yeah? a professional. I ignore it. You are a professional. You've been professional so far. We'll find out who Kirsty Love's next opponent is going to be. I will tell you and everybody else watching right after this break. Stay right there. We are back live at the UKW Arena here in Batley, and I have breaking news, Leonie Rose. Breaking news? Breaking news, yes. We need the, uh, the news jingle or something. Uh, but the women's champion, Kirsty Love, will be defending her title at WrestleBration Aftermath. It comes your way September 2nd, and she's going to be defending that title against somebody who... What, sorry, what was that? Molly Spot? Ooh. You remember her, right? I do remember. I haven't had the pleasure of facing her. Oh, my God. Kirsty Love is is going to uh, have a task on her hands. There is the graphic. Molly Spartan coming back Huge to Kirsty Love Huge. on September second. Yep. For the women's championship, Leonie. So it's not you, I'm afraid. What a shame. 
No. Not happy about. Do you know what? No, no, no. I think what? it's good to have other women come in, be given opportunities. I can be fair. I can be nice. Okay. And well, that's good of you. That's yeah, not what? all. There's more what? opportunities. What? We're going to be having a debut. A debut. A debut. Wow. Who's of, that then? She's called Daisy Jenkins, and she will be facing Lisa. The first ever Pakistani women's wrestler here in the UKW. That is correct. The one and only. Daisy Jenkins debuting at WrestleBration Aftermath. Yep. Against Nisa and Huge Molly news. Spartan gets a chance. Oops, there we go. There's the graphic. Gets her chance at Kirsty Loves Women's Championship. And it is WrestleBration Aftermath September 2nd. You can get your tickets now on the UK Wrestling app or at UKWrestling.tv. And uh, come and see us on September 2nd. Live and in person, Saturday night, get your tickets. If you miss WrestleBration last week, though, you, you missed some of it because you were getting ready. I and was then you... busy. I have managed to watch it back because do you know why? Why? It is on the YouTube membership channel. Yes, you can subscribe and watch WrestleBration. And we have highlights of WrestleBration just to whet your appetite a little bit. Ooh. Let's uh, Let's take you to those highlights and we'll be back in just a second. It was an unforgettable night. Here it is. KW calendar, it happened this past Saturday night, and I'm proud as punished to hear my voice on that. I was going to say, I'm surprised you've got any voice on left with how excited <laughs> you got. It was a hell of a night, it was a long night, but you can catch all the action at WrestleBration and then come and join us on the 2nd of September. You know somebody who did have a good night at WrestleBration, the only Rose? I'm sure you're going to tell me. I am going to introduce him in a second. This place is going to get very loud, oh, that's all I'm going to say. I, I think I already know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome next, he is your new UK Wrestling Hardcore Champion, the loudest man in UK Wrestling, Badly, say it with me, J.P. Saturday night, and it must feel great. Yo! 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 Let me talk to you! Bobby! I am your new hardcore champion, and if you don't know, my name is J.P.R. Yo! Now, I think at WrestleBration. It was a good, good night for J.P.R. Yo! But let's not focus on the past. Let's focus on the future. And let's ask one question, and one question only. Who next? Wait up, wait up. 
It's a simple question, Leone. Who's next for JPR's Hardcore Championship? That is familiar music to me. It might not be to the viewing audience. But that's the music at the Breaking Bone Studios. And here they are. If Harrison, Sebastian Mercer, making the way out here. But why? Well, then, well, we're out here for a reason, obviously. And obviously. Hey, look, I regret to fall and reform everyone, but we weren't exactly successful <coughs> at the celebration, were we? Yeah. Obviously. Hardcore title, it's like nuts whatsoever, mate. Frankly, we couldn't give a damn if that title stayed retired. Bit hard. Oh, shut your mouth, Wolf. But if it's a fight you're looking for, JPR, us doing more than happily be obliged to kick your ass because we've got a lot of frustration. A lot of frustration after this weekend. A lot of frustration. So, why don't we have a handicap match? Oh, wow, the Breaking Bow Studios challenging JPR here. JPR's not going to back down Leonie Rose, but it's not hardly fair. Hardly fair. Is this going to happen? Surely not. I understand one in. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. I know that music as well. I also know that music. Listen, we all want to talk about frustrations and WrestleMania. JPR, I know you don't necessarily need it, but would you like the gesture to come and make this a level playing field? This crowd definitely would. Zero will be an honour, an absolute honour to start with you. Zero and KPR. No! I think we've got ourselves a yeah, I, uh, I think we did a ref. I think Let's we do this. We do have a tag team match here, the Rose. That were nice, were it? Well, Breaking Bone Studios are not nice people. And they were going to have JPR all to themselves, but no. I understand the pent-up aggression, but I have to question the logic of a little bit here. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. JPR and the Jester. Why couldn't they beat you up instead or something? I don't understand. Why what, sorry? Why couldn't they come after you or something? Me? <laughs> Take out your aggression on my pick JPR. Well, that's a good question because JPR is the hardcore champion, a former heavyweight champion, as is J. Ro Lewis. Th yeah, this is it. Right, I'm going to start charging everyone a fiver every time they say shut your mouth. Why, oh, is that your thing? Yep. Shut your mouth, Brett. Do you not think? Yeah, well. I do it best. Shut your mouth, uh, Brett. You know what? I actually agree with you. Thank you. Mark that down on your calendars, folks. I agreed with Leone Rose. And the bell rings. And it is JPR and J-Ro against Cliff Harrison and the mercenary Sebastian Mercer here on Showdown. JPR defeating Tommy Dillon at the weekend. Wanted to know who was next, but he got two for the price of one, didn't he? He did. Now, JPR aggressive. Taking it out on the man from the cliffside. <laughs> Snap made by JPR. And you know what comes next, Leone? It's usually an homage to his favourite footballer. Oh my god. Ow. If Harrison's going to feel that in the morning. 
I'm going to feel it in the morning. I will sat up here. Yeah, we're sat a few meters away. That's going to hurt. And now, Jero Lewis goes up on the back of JPR. Um, for a, a not tag team, they're not doing bad, are they? Just a one count, though, on Harrison. Jero said it was cheeky of him to kick out at one. I think he's right. Between JPR and Jero Lewis, though, they've got absolutely ounces of experience between them. It's true. So even though they're not necessarily a team, that experience is shared. It's a very good point. Look at you, Mr. Stu, full of commentator here. I know things. You do? Not Imagine just a pretty face, right? Are you calling me pretty, Brett? Um, Are you flirting with me? No, no, no. no. Words, though, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not flirting with you, but I agree with what you're saying. And now, Mercer, oh, he hot shots Jero in this tag team match. We'll continue when Showdown is back after this break. Stay right there. It is Friday Night Showdown live from Bat Libra at Hadley and the only rose at the desk, the Breaking Bone Studios. Jero Lewis and the hardcore champion, JPR, in the ring going at it in a tag team match. And uh, I'll say hello to everybody watching us on our YouTube channel tonight. I see you. Is anyone saying nice things about me and how um, amazing I'm doing? Um, I, I think nice things is a little bit too, uh, pushing it a little bit, but... They're saying how amazing I'm on commentary, how amazing I'm at ringing the bell. There are there are comments, I'll say that. So hello to everybody watching on our YouTube channel. They'll enjoy the fact that I'm uh, saying hello to them. I'm sure... Not enjoying himself at the minute is J.R. Lewis. He's quite a way away from JPR here. JPR... Saying, shut your filthy mouth. Oh, is that what? Okay, that's what yeah. he was <laughs> That's what he was saying to the BBS. The Breaking Bone Studios. And now, Cliff Harrison. Oh! Chops anyone. And he went right at JPR and said, that's for you, because JPR is notorious for doing those kind of things. I have to admit, there is only one person in this company who chops the best. Oh, and that is... Not Mustafa Khan. No? Not JPR. Who? Kirsty Love. Okay, okay. I still have a scar on my chest um, from the first ever chop she gave me. And we found out Kirsty Love will face the returning dangerous Molly Spartan at Restoration Aftermath a little bit earlier. That happens September 2nd. Tell us again, Brett. September 2nd. There you go, everyone. The Celebration Aftermath, our next big premium live event. The Breaking Bad Studios would love to be there as well. And they've isolated Jero here in the corner. Jero's got to make it to the other side of this ring. Oh, yes, he's a long way away from his partner. As we said earlier, that ring's massive when you're in it. And it really is. Don't get us wrong. I've been in there tonight. You've been in there hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. You know your way around it very, very well. And now Jero's still... I don't know the... if you've noticed... You say that though, Brett. I don't know if you've noticed lately. I've been playing on the straight and narrow. Uh, have you? Yeah, ignore like, Saturday. I had matches with Young Horace. I had matches with uh, Case and Riley. And I did cheat. Okay. Fair, fair play then. And you beat Shauna Reed yesterday. I'll say it for you. I think I beat Shauna. Shauna and I can't be blamed for that because I was knocked out. Shauna Reed has vowed revenge, so I tell you. Jero Lewis trying to fight his way out the corner here and get over to JPR, but... Oh, is he going to reach? Is he going to reach? No, he's not. Oh. As Harrison picks him up. This time oh. he rolls under and now oh. makes the tag. Oh. The crowd comes alive. Oh. Oh. Can you hear the impact? JPR comes alive, yeah. Oh. Back to those close lines on Mercer. Oh, I turned him inside out. Like an accordion, folded up. Down to JPR and only two. And now JPR said it's the lights out for Mercer. If he hits that DDT, it would be, but Mercer backs JPR back into the corner as a tag there. Oh, the Luba kick. But I don't think Jero, oh, I don't think Harrison knows Jero's the legal man here. Jero got the tag lining up. Mercer is also the legal man. Jero connects with this Leone. We're going to have a winner. Jero looking for that running kick. Jero sizing up a mercenary here, but oh, Mercer's up. And oh my god! Right on his head. 
Oh, Mercer's the legal man in there. That is it. Wow. Here are your winners. The team of Quick Harrison and Sebastian Mercer. The Breaking Bones Studio. Studios making their intentions. They're having a slight dig at JPR there with you what think, you were saying. Yeah, yo, you yep. think. And now J Ro and JPR left to uh, pick up the remnants of what just happened there. It was a valiant effort. It was, but. Just not enough. Not enough, and the respect is still there for J Ro and JPR. <laughs> Raising each other's hand, but oh. look at J Ro. Oh. Oh. Is he side eyeing that hardcore championship? I think he is, yeah. He just he gave up. He just gave. I know JPR realised. I don't think he did either. No. For a good, like, he just three gave seconds, up. Three seconds. He was staring that title he in the face. He stared a hole through that hardcore title, and I don't think. I don't think JPR I saw don't, it. Let's, don't, don't tell him. No, absolutely not. But J Ro and JPR valiant effort tonight here on Showdown. And yeah, we we saw that. That was very interesting. Mmm. Still to come tonight, the only tonight's main event, Hamza Mosoa against the UKW Heavyweight Championship, Jonathan Sedgwick. And if Hamza defeats Sedgwick, he then gets a shot at Jonathan's Heavyweight Championship. Mm. I think Can it should be me. You always think it should be Do you not think you, I though? could be the first woman in UKW history to be? Oh, 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 what, what, what is that? Oh, that? Oh, oh, my God, it's, it's, it's Riley. And you heard them at a minute ago they say did. they're coming for the, they did, they did. the titles, but now they've come for the champions. They found them in an ambush here by the Breaking Bone Studios on the Tag Team Champions. They were wasting no time. Riley's fighting back. This thing's broken down, Leone. They did say that they were coming for them. Yeah, literally they were. I didn't were. know they meant like a second later. Cedric, oh my god. Mercer. There's all them clothing here on Friday yeah. night showdown. Yeah. Right, where's Brocco? If this was yeah, my show, I'd Brocco be out here I mean, screaming at them. Yeah. Oh no, Cedric is isolated in the ring. Kaysen is out on the outside and oh, they're going to do it again. Leone, look, they're doing it again. Oh! Cedric. Oh, and he's held, he's held on. Oh, he's held on to that submission. Oh, no. And what is Mercer doing? Mercer just ran out. I don't think he's finished. I don't Look think Look at he's finished Cedric. Either. Cedric is out. In the ring. He's out. And Mercer oh, that, is back okay. with those title belts. Oh, this was all a, a ruse. It was. It was a plan. And look at this. The Breaking Bones Studios want those tag team championship belts. And they just made a very big noise to our champions. Riley and Cedric were ambushed. Defense really. 
And in the end, it was just too much. The Breaking Bone Studios were an absolute ambush. Peeling Brett Sedgwick off the camera. Literally, need a, have we got a spatula for Sedgwick? We don't need one after that. The BBS are saying, I mean, they said, yeah, we want to come after the titles, but little did we know that they were going to go straight after yeah, the champions. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, immediately. And obviously, you know, Leonie, being a champion, it's tough at the top. It is, you've got everyone after you. Literally, you've got a painted target on your back the moment you win a title. Yep. You have got everybody and their dog, their cat, their sister, their brother, their, their mum, their dad, everybody wants a title. And Level Up just found out the hard way that, you know... See, they're delusional. They were like, oh, we've had us wrestle brace for a moment. We've delusional? Won. Yeah, but do you not think... I don't think they realised how much work it is to be champion. Uh, you would know, right? Yes. As a former... Two-time time? women's yes, champion, former that's... academy champion, former around-the-clock champion. Uh, anything else? Former women's dream ticket holder. Uh, there we go. I knew you'd forgot one. So you know what it takes to with I the hard know. work to, to keep... To keep your head above water it's when you're It's stressful and it's, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head. It is stressful. And Jonathan Sedgwick earlier said, you know, he wants somebody to step up. Mm-hmm. And Hamza Masoa did step up. Do you think Hamza can beat Jonathan Sedgwick one on one in that ring tonight? See, that's a tough one because I'm trying to be impartial. Yes, as an impartial announcer doing a professional job, which you keep saying you're doing, and to your credit, so far this evening you have done. I've been in ring with both. Th- been in the ring with both of those actually, men. Actually, yes, good point. And I don't think I don't think I can call it. I don't think no. I could say. I mean, Hamza is riding the wave of I'm going to steal this momentum from last week when he he won the World Cup. Mm-hmm. He beat momentum in that match at the opening he match did. at WrestleBration. He is the World Cup holder. He is carrying it. He believes it's his time. Both men are flying high from WrestleBrush, and Jonathan Sedgwick retained his heavyweight championship. He Hamza against. Masoa beat his best friend and former tag team partner, Momentum. Momentum. Yep, and Jonathan coming through that wall with Damian Black and Mustafa Khan at WrestleBrush to lead with the title. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's tonight's main event. It could go away. either way, in my opinion. It really could. So that's a very balanced... Um, I can be balanced and objective. Balanced what do you think, objective Brett? Opinion. I mean, I, I think Hamza can do it. Do you think yeah, so? I truly think... He has. I mean, he's got the majority of his crowd on his side. He has everybody. I think he can do it. Okay. Tonight's main event will come your way a bit later. We've got triple threat action, though, on the way. Right after this break, stay right there. Showdown is back in a moment. We are live from the heart of West Yorkshire. We are in Batley. We are the Friday Night Showdown commentary team. It's Leonie Rose and the voice of UKW, Brett Hadley. We've still got that huge main event with Hamza and Jonathan to come a little bit later. Yeah. So go and get the next match gone. Go on, Brett. Again, I'll hold down you're the fort. You're going to hold the fort again, are you? Yep. I've you've been doing a really good job. You've done a good job, good job so far. Thank I you. You have. Yeah. And this is live as well, so everyone's heard Brett say I've done a really good job. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest on Friday Night Showdown is a triple threat match set for one fall. Oh. Introducing first... <laughs>
and a handshake with and Andrew from Raider the Arch. We need one more person in. You see? <laughs> can be fair and down the middle. You've done a good job tonight. I will give you credit. So it's the Yorkshireman, Jacob Reed, and Bishop. He's big and he's bad, you know. He's big and he's bad. And this is this is three big guys, let's be honest. This is three big guys. I think I'm bigger than the Jacob. Oh. Bishop's steamrolling through the... Yeah, the literally. Oh. Takes down one, takes down the other. And now, Bishop's got him in the corner, but Reed out the way to save himself from Reed. Flooring Bishop, well, kind of flooring kind Bishop. Of staggered him a little bit. Yeah. Bishop rocked by that. Jacob Reed now with an oh, uppercut in the corner. Yorkshireman's in trouble in the other corner. And now Bishop can't get out of the way, but oh, he pounced him halfway over the ring. My God! Jacob Reed's a big guy. That's a big height to come down Jacob from. Jacob Reed is about six foot four. Like we, we say it every week on commentary, the guy is huge. It's not a small guy to throw and lob around the ring like that. And now Bishop with him on his shoulders. Jacob out the back door pushes Bishop into the Yorkshireman, who now comes back with shoulder tackles of his own. Bishop is up. See, as valiant as these three men want to be, going after. Both of a competitor, you need, to, you need to get one out, you need to isolate one and work on them individually. It's a good call, look at you. You've been in triple threat matches, right? I have oh, been look, a at lot the, of oh, look at the strength of the Yorkshireman. Bishop's not a small guy to pick up like that. See, this is what I'm saying. Bishop, not a small guy, and the Yorkshireman made it look relatively easy there. The smart thing is to isolate one of these then. It would be smart, but at the minute it's every man for himself. Joker Breed. The fingers of Bishop. Oh, I might have broke his fingers. Ow. Speaking of fingers, Brett, I grew my nails out. Do you like them? You, you do what? I've got nails. Oh, wow. I grew them. Yeah. Can we all oh, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. I can hear them. Do you have nails? I can paint yours pink. No, you I really don't have nails. No. My favourite colour is pink, though. Is it? Yeah, it really is hot pink. I do like I do like pink. Yeah, it's got to be hot pink. Yorkshireman and Bishop now taking turns with the right hands on Jacob Reed. Bishop to the midsection. Oh, we're getting a bit of a, Are they gonna, a pair, a team oh, up here. There might be a, a little coalition here. Oh. You feel the ring vibrate? I did. Oh. I felt the desk of my chair vibrate. Yeah. Wow. A lot of oh. humanity in there, and now look. They were friends was... for a second, but in triple threats, anything goes. That was literally about a five second friendship there between these two guys. Didn't last long at all. My God. It's like a gunshot. Jacob Reed, though, out the corner here. And now, Jacob Reed back. In control of this as Friday Night Showdown rolls on here from Batley, picks up the Yorkshireman, dispatches him. And now, is he going to do the same to Bishop? But Bishop fights out of that. Back elbows by Reed. Oh! So you've got to have eyes in the back of your head. You have. In triple threat matches. It's even more dangerous than usual here. And then the Yorkshireman with the spine buster. Oh, he might not be like that view, big spine buster stuff. by Bishop. Jacob Reed throws Bishop into the turnbuckle. Oh, was he finally just depos uh, deposited? De that's the word. That's thank the you. word. The mark that down, folks. Leonie Rose thanked me. What are they doing? 
What are, are they, they both doing? on the second row? They are. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's a this scary is, place this to is be. Dangerous. And the Yorkshireman is looking up here. Reed is down. Uh oh, Bishop's in trouble. He can't do this. There's no Surely way. Surely not. Oh my, my god. That's, that's Bishop. He's got him on his shoulders. Look at the strength of the Yorkshireman. He couldn't do it. Just about goes down. Bishop might be out after that. He is. Wow. Yorkshireman with the victory. And I guess tonight it really is Yorkshire time. And then he told me to go take my face for a wash. Yorkshire, Yorkshire. So, uh, tonight's main event is on the way very soon, Leonie Rose. We're not Sorry. far away from it. And we caught up one more time with Hamza Masoa to find out how he's preparing for this match. Huge match against the champ. Let's All take you to that him. footage. Let's take you to Dylan Chase. My guest at this time is Hamza Masoa. Well, I'm to go. See you, man. Congratulations for the victory at the celebration 14. This year, that's but just a more important question: Are you ready for tonight? Yep. Of course, man. You know what? I've been ready. It's a spot time to prove myself as a main event guy. I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna bring the energy to myself. I'm gonna bring it to our world heavyweight championship. That's what I'm gonna do. How's it over? There you go, Hamza. Very focused. And he wants that championship, Leone. He's determined. He is determined. He looks very focused. He does. And I think he can do it, you know. I have faith in the rolling moose. He's still not picking a winner. Oh, I don't know if I can. That fence over there, you want to go and sit on it? I really am split in the middle. You really and are. also, one of them is technically my boss, so yeah, I should be careful. He's the owner and CEO of the company, a seven-time UK wrestling world. Seven? I thought it was eight. Seven-time seven? okay. heavyweight champion. Yeah, yeah. Seven times he's won it. That just proves how how good Jonathan yeah, Sedgwick is. You exactly. don't even know how many times he's had it. It's not an accident. It's not an it's accident. It's not a coincidence. I know that when I was in the ring with him on Monday night. You given him some props? Potentially. Be careful. Be careful. Right, stop it. <laughs> I nearly got you to do it. No, you didn't. We'll be back with tonight's main event. It is Jonathan Sedgwick against Hamza Masora. Remember, if Hamza Masora wins... He gets a shot at Jonathan's championship. That huge main event is on the way right after this break. Do not go anywhere. Showdown is back in a moment.
Welcome back. It is Friday Night Showdown live from Batley. It is co-general manager of Monday Night in Night, Leonie Rose, and the voice, Brett Hadley, here at ringside. Our main event in the ring, it's Hamza Masoa and Jonathan Sedgwick. If Hamza wins, he gets a shot at Jonathan's Championship. It's main event time, Leonie Rose, and it starts any moment now. This is huge. This is huge. Here we go. Can Hamza channel the energy from his victory at the World Cup on Saturday at Russell Go Friday and hide from Russell Brayson. I was so excited to even just ring the bell for this match, I'm not going to lie. It is Huge an match. exciting... Oh, hang on, oh, Hamza. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, Quick there by Hamza. Oh. Do I blame Hamza? No, not at all. Sunset flip on Cedric. Lightning quick start to this. Cedric tries to close on Hamza. Ducks under Cedric. This time, duck no. that there. Absolutely not. Cedric has many years of experience on his opponent here. He does, he does. Probably one of the most experienced we have, maybe the most, in UK wrestling. And now we know he's very good at working on the body part. You've been in there with him just this week, right? Yep, literally like four days ago. <laughs> Big clothesline by Cedric. As you can catch Monday Night Ignite, Wednesday Night Mayhem, and Friday Night Showdown every single week on our YouTube channel. And you can come down and join us as well. You'd love to see you've got a big crowd in here tonight. It's just the excitement from after WrestleBration, yeah, isn't it? Oh, it's palpable, I tell you. Cedric with a front face lock. I know what he usually Ooh. does here, and oh my god. Holding him. Making him think about it. All the blood rushing to the head of Hamza. Hook of a leg by Cedric, but only got one. One. I would just like to say as well, whilst we were on commercial break, yes, I had a nosy at the YouTube comments. Oh, did you? I did. Ooh. And someone said that I am mellowing out and that my attitude seems better. So I just want to tell that person, shut your mouth, you don't know what you're talking about. There's the Leone Rose we know and love, folks. No, to be fair though, I can, I'm not an idiot, I can give credit where credit is. To be is. fair, it has been quite a pleasurable experience at the desk with you this evening, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Am I your favourite again yet? Not quite. Oh, well, what's the point? Cover. Get out it's two pound for Sedgwick. He's very good, he's technically proficient, knows his way around, takes his time, does it the smart way, takes no unnecessary risks. And that is one of many reasons why he's a multiple time champion. Do you not think that that title would look good on me if I made it pink? Um, I mean, we, we, we've got a pink championship already. It's no, a women's championship. Yeah, but imagine having two pink titles. Oh. As long as it was hot pink. Listen to this crowd. Crowd, yeah. Let's go, Hamza Chans. He is riding the wave. He's arguably one of the most popular we have at the minute. Oh. And now, crucifix. Very smart. Nearly got Nicely the victory. Good. I love that move. Oh, Cedric didn't like it though. And Cedric was rocked by that. He almost looked offended. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the fact that Hamza rolled through with that crucifix and nearly pinned him. Not to be. And main event here on Showdown Side Russia leg sweep. By Cedric channeling his wrestling hero with that move. If you are students of the game, you will know who I mean. I know who you mean. He was excellent. He was. Oof. Maybe the best there is. Maybe what, the best there was. I see what you did there. Maybe the best, the best there ever will be. <laughs> Just to give you a hint at home. I, I'm impartial to a, a showstopper myself, personally. Are you? Oh, and a heartbreak. Yeah. Are you? But we'll, we'll move on from that. Well, <laughs> controversy. <laughs> We're not in Montreal anyway. Hamza was so up to the second rope. Springs back. Look at the strength of Cedric. Oh, wow. What's he going to do with him? He caught him in midair. Picks him up on his shoulders. Oh, my God. Cedric. Oh. He gave Musoa a Samoan drop. And nearly pinned him with it. Nearly got a two there. That was close. This is already a really, really good main event. I didn't expect any less when there's Jonathan Sedgwick and Hamza Masoa in there. See, look how nice, look how nice that is. It's destined to be good. And now, Sedgwick starting to work away on the, ham the hamstrings in the back of the leg of Hamza, and we know full well 
what that is a prelude to. Oh, oh Hamza's leg. How's Hamza's knee? I know he's done a really good job at WrestleBration and yeah. leading up to it, but don't forget about Listen it. Listen to this crowd. Not that they don't like Cedric, because they do, but... They just like Hamza more. Yeah. But Hamza is right in the middle of the ring. Cedric is stepping through for the patented Cedric sharpshooter. Oh, no. Hamza's caught. And he's in the middle of the ring as well. Those ropes are far away. There is a long way between Hamza Masoa and safety. And listen to this crowd. I'm please don't tap. The last thing they want is Hamza to tap out. Do you think maybe this could be a bit of an underdog story? I'm not trying maybe. to say Hamza's I know. Shot. I mean, I said he had a, he's got a real shot, and he has. Is he reversing oh, this? Oh, he got out of this. He's managed to somehow get his way out of the sharpshooter, and now, talk about paying homage to people, look at this. Can you say, woo, the only rose? Oh, oh my God. Now, Cedric is the one. Caught in the ring, and this crowd want him to tap out. I mean, the only way to really hold this is to reverse it and roll onto your belly, and all the pressure then goes back on your opponent. Whereas Jonathan's got to be careful keeping those shoulders up. He has. He's got to be really careful. I mean, that alleviates the pressure, but he could lose in the match. Oh. And here he goes, not trying to roll himself over, but he can't. Oh, oh. Or can he? No, he can't. Oh, now he can. And now the pressure on that figure four is all on Hamza. Now Cedric, back in control. Hamza scra scraping for the ropes and he gets there. Hamza, Masoa and Cedric putting on a clinic in our main event here on Friday Night Showdown. Wow. Both men are showing the wear and tear. Yeah, they've been going at it for like nearly 10 minutes here. Wear and tear, I like that. You can keep, you can keep it, Brett. Right? Pulls himself back up. Thank you. I'll keep that for next week. Oh, look at this now. It's just a battle of will, desire, and hunger. Oh, we caught him. <laughs> Those on by Cedric. Another one. Big back elbow. elbow. Yeah, he's, he's look at so, in stereo. Cedric with a. Body slam. Oh, do we all know what's following this? Yeah. Again, it is the rather excellently executed. Bouncy castle. I'm only joking. Cedric leg drop. Be a. I'm only joking. Cedric leg drop. That's how you do it, by the way. And that's usually the precursor. That happened to, to me on Monday. The tuning up of the Cedric feet. The tuning up of the band. Hamza's Hamza. got to be careful. There's something waiting for him when he gets back. Oh no! Hamza ducks out the way. Hits a high knee on Cedric. Oh, oh my god, the Oni. He's poised. This is his crowd. They are feral. He is poised. Hamza is waiting. Jonathan doesn't know where he is. No. He's going to know in a moment because Hamza is going to spring in with oh. the rock. Oh, no. Oh, Cedric oh caught him on his shoulders. Oh, my God. Cedric catches oh. him. Hamza rolls through. Hamza with a sunset flip. And Hamza got him. He did it. Oh, my God. Hamza was so a just beat. With a chance for the heavyweight championship. Okay, I'm happy Hamza won. I've got one. just beat the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the Rolling Moose, Hamza Musawa! Wow, wow, wow. What a great main event that was. Absolute battle between these two athletes. Listen to this crowd. So now the only like, you said gets a shot at the UK Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. He defeated Sedgwick live and in person. Do you know what? I'm going to give him a clap. Yeah, damn right, give it up. Look, you've even got the only road to pass it for you. Yeah, man. Hamza now has a shot at Sedgwick's title, and I've got a feeling. Yeah. 
tell us when. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jonathan Sedgwick. Thank you much. John, John, you made the promise. And I know you're a man of your word. I know you won't go back on it. Jonathan, I learned that world title match. Has, but when? And I'm getting that shot. Friday night showdown. Next week! Not oh my god! Wow. Next week, wow. Hamza's called his shot. Hamza wants that World he Heavyweight Championship. And he's gonna get it next week against Jonathan. Well done, Mr. Nyon. I came out with a challenge. Hamza Mustafa, the UK wrestling World Cup winner, the first World Cup winner, step up. I agree. Hamza tonight, you have the opportunity. You took everything I have to give you, and you still came out on top. <laughs> hey, you won out of three. Don't put yourself short. Next week. One on one. World Heavyweight Championship. It is on the do it one more time. One more time. It is one on. more week. And you'll get to find out. Jonathan Sedgwick and Hamza was so on the only road. It only takes three seconds. It does only take three seconds to find out tonight. And next week, Hamza with a golden opportunity. Oh, for Hamza or so for Jonathan Sedgwick. Let's give him a round of applause. Everybody, we are already looking forward to that next week. I am the voice of UKW, Brett Hadley. We'll see you next week, everybody. We'll see you there. Good night, everyone.